What's up, everybody? Please like and subscribe, comment, and share on our videos, Grasshopper and the Bear. Yeah. All right. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Um, Ronnie, some Javier, also known as a grasshopper. Us. Hello, Ronnie. I'm Kendrick. I am the bear. How are you today, sir? Blessed, blessed. I'm doing good. That's awesome. Awesome. Um, so the reason we want to have you today is because, number one, very importantly, you're good friends with my good friend, old sparring partner and current boxing coach, JP from Abaddon Fight Club. He told me all about you. He says, you got to meet my boy, Ronnie Camacho. He's got a lot of good, good ish going on and <laughs> some stuff you'd be interested in, Hav. And I said, okay. I said, it sounds really good. Set it up, JP. And, um, and then also told my, my good friend, uh, Kendrick, uh, the bear about you as well. So we're looking forward to this. We want to hear all yeah. about you, your journey, your businesses, everything you got going on. And then we're going to share it with the people right away. You have two things that, that you do that you love, which is very near and dear to my heart and to Kendrick's the martial arts. Uh, I want to hear all about that. That's my interest. And my boy Kendrick is very much interested in weight training and nutrition. I am too, but <laughs> that's not my main thing, but I respect it. And I listen, and I'm always trying to learn. And, um, I talk about kicking people in the head and he talks about nutrition all the time on the phone. So this is a good, this is a good mashup. Um, if you could tell me why you started your company for life wellness and, uh, how did you discover hemp oil products? where did you discover these things and their great benefits? And tell us about, please, your coach, uh, and how you got into the martial arts and real quick, you are the president of RC complete physique and nutrition incorporated on top of all this, sir, take it away. All right. Well, Hi, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. You know, um, JP told me a lot about you and it's just, you know, then I second, I start following and I start watching what you guys do and it's awesome. And I always say it's nice when like-minded individuals find, if we find each other, it doesn't matter where you're from, what your ethnic background is, like-minded individuals find each other. So this is like a blessing. Uh, For Life Wellness, I started um, actually, it was about 2019 when my, when my um, temple sensei, he was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. And when I heard this, it, it crushed me to be honest with you. And about a year and a half before that, I was already researching into full spectrum hemp CBD and started really looking into it and the benefits of it because a lot of my clients were getting aches and pains and, do, and taking a lot of prescription meditation. And for me, it's kind of like they're, oh, and I believe in Eastern medicine. So there has to be an alternative. And then once I started, reading about CBD and what, how good it is for inflammation, why well, I know that any ailment in the human body is inflammation, right? So I figure if there's something that can, that can hit this, I want to read more about it. Well, moving forward, when Derek was diagnosed, I, and he lives in Hawaii, by the way, and I told him, get any form of CBD you can find. I don't care who the, whatever, because you just, I felt, you need to get it in your system, right? Along with eating properly and this and that, but being that it was stage four, it was gonna, it was very aggressive and they immediately want to do chemo. So the first thing I know about chemo, it will pretty much take everything out of your body. It's going to destroy everything. So my thinking was, well, instead of fighting the cancer, let's fight the chemo, right? Let's, 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 let's try to repair your body uh, let's say you get the treatment that tears you down. Let's rebuild it for the next treatment. Because what happens is, and but my research is that after a few tr treatments, if you don't rebuild, that's how the chemo kills you, right? And mind you, they were giving him six months to live. They were giving him six months. And I'm like, you know, we're fighters, man. So we, look, we're going to go down swinging. So I figured let's go after the chemo. So he was taking a bunch of CBD products. So that got me, my budding gear is like, you know what? And I know in Hawaii, there aren't that many quality products. But I took it upon myself to source um, my own. I do my research and figure out which um, brand or which manufacturer has the cleanest um, products. So that way, once I dive into that, I know I will be able to hook up Derek, right? So that was the whole mission behind this. And it started out under a different company name. I had two other partners. I'm not going to go into that. You know, partners, you, you, everybody has stories about that. 
Wait, and I want to hear a little bit because I can always learn something from this. Uh, if okay. you, if at any point you want to share, because I'm trying to learn, I'm on a journey. I know I'm going to have to work with people here okay. and there. I'm usually like a solo lone wolf, but at some point I have to work with people and I'd like to learn. No problem. I'll, I'll absolutely. If people ask, I will tell. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was always like that too. Lone wolf, rider, you know, do things on my own, figure it out. If I don't know, I figure it out. Well, one of my part one of the partners, um, as I was talking about doing the CBD product, um, came up to me and said, you know, he was into medicinal mushrooms. So I figure I knew this guy for 20 years. So I'm like, okay, it makes sense, right? Long story short, we get together and then I know what well, everything is marketing, right? Everything's marketing. So I said, well, dude, we're set. I pretty much have money to fund my own thing. But, you know, since we're friends, we go on this together. About two and a half, three weeks later, he, he, one of his clients supposedly was a marketing expert. Well, I'm like this. Once I, once I go, I go. So I'm like, if you co-sign somebody, I'm not going to question it, right? So in my mind, marketing expert. Sure. Fast forwarding, it just became molasses. There was no movement. And come to find out, all things weren't what they seemed. So long story short, I, I, I'm about getting things done. Get just whatever. If there are hurdles, you figure out, you jump over them, you get around them, you figure it out. So moving forward, and during this time, I was uh, supplying Derek already with products. So that was the most important thing. So I felt, okay, that was being done. I was good. But then the company wasn't moving forward. There was no forward movement. And I felt that I wasn't, you know, Everybody wasn't contributing the way it should. So long story short, um, in about November, it just started coming to the surface like, what's going on here, right? And it just became like a blame face. And I'm like, look, I'll take ownership or ownership is due. But moving forward, I'm like, this is not working, right? So it got, it got ugly. And then I'll, they, they end up buying me out, which is fine. And I said, you know what, I can't went home. And my wife, I'm like, you know, I'm not going to stop. So Derek asked me, he goes, hey, man, I told him this was happening. And the first thing he says, he goes, am I still going to get product? <laughs> uh, what, what, what did he say? Am I still going to get product, right? Oh. I was, right? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So I said, you know what, I'll, I'm going to start my own. So my wife actually was like, you know, I was like, man, I don't know what name to use, what name, you know, she goes, hey, remember when you first started this, the, the name of the company that it was, I originally um, got the domain for life wellness. That was actually what it was going to be. And then as partnerships, the name changed and it got morphed into something else. So I look at it like everything happens for a reason, right? We learn from our mistakes. So I decided this was in February. I said, you know what? For life wellness. For life, that's what I'm all about, helping people, let's go. So I myself, on my own, build this. Three months and we launch, right? right. So I have, I have seven products. I'm actually going to be coming out next week with also a dog treat. So I'm going to have eight products. And wow. I, I, it was just like, you know, I'm, I'm going to, I went from wanting to do the partnership thing. But then it's like, then I went back to the lone wolf, but. I have people in my circle that are like an advisory board, right? That I trust in the business aspect, this and that. So I take advice, but I make the calls, right? And, and, and right. I learn from that. And I honestly don't have any hard feelings because I'm happier than I ever been, even though we just launched Memorial Day, but I feel now it's, it's, it's true to my heart, right? It's true to my mission, right? So a couple of weeks, I, I, I buried Derek about a, uh, about three weeks ago, right? I'm sorry. Oh, sorry for your yeah. loss. I'm sorry. For yeah, your I loss. buried, and but when I went home, it was really cool because where a client of mine is actually editing footage that he and I had an interview because what he wanted to do, he wanted to motivate people to not give up the fight, right? And I have an interview about a month before he passes where he wanted me to continue that journey, right? So for life wellness, 
yes, it's my company, but right on top of my logo, that um, the person here, that's him overlooking the company, right? Mm -hmm. So this is more than me. So I told him, I said, look, man, I'm going to continue this and I'm going to get your word out. And in the process, we're going to change a lot of lives, you know? So this company is more than just Ronnie Camacho. Quiet. It's not that. It's more about um, continuing Derek's legacy and having him watch from above that I'm doing it the way it's supposed to be done, right? So for life wellness is... You know, eventually I'm also going to have um, other supplements that are not CBD because I believe in the wellness umbrella and it's just going to grow because my thing is about helping people, making a difference, like for life wellness, making a difference. That's what that company is about, you know, and the experience was really eye opening. It showed me a lot. And it's like, it doesn't matter how long you know somebody or not. Sometimes I, there's this saying money makes people act funny. Right. And for my partners, it was about making millions. For me, it's about making a difference. Sure. And the, to my thinking is the money will come if it's meant to come. But the purpose has to be pure. It can't be driven by profit. Right. And that's why for life wellness for me is I'm so passionate about it. You know, it's just that. And I'm like in the infancy stages, but it's all good. Right. Because I'm like, I mean, look, I'm on, the, on the, this podcast. This was like alignment. You know what I mean? There is, a, And I just lost Eric, but I feel like I'm on a podcast that he would be proud of, you know, speaking about him. And his fight with the, he made three and a half years. Like we got him back to hitting the back. I have videos that I'm going to have on my site where he got back to hitting the back, you know? Oh. With the mask on, he's hit the bag. He started rode around a little bit. And for a while, we were doing this, but it was just so aggressive that it started attacking the lungs towards the end. And it just started, you know. And once he started knowing that, you know, it's the fighter knew that it's not going to give up, but he started seeing what's really going down, so to speak. So I flew home about, oh, about a week and a half before he died. We had this moment, man. We had this amazing moment. And like, I showed him uh, my presentation folder of the company, right? And what was really cool about it is he, he was so in awe. I got his blessing. And before I left, he was about to lay down. I helped lift his legs up to make him go to sleep. And he popped up like, and was doing this. I'm thinking, you know, maybe he's thinking, what, what's he doing? Well, he grabbed a folder and he went to sleep. And that was the last time we had a conversation. And it's almost like he gave me the blessing, like he did not want me to take that folder, right? So that for me is like for life is, is going, right? You know, and it was just such a cool moment that we shared. And that just gave me the, 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 the drive and, Whatever comes up, I'm ready to go because I just feel like, man, there's no better feeling than getting a blessing from him and to make this brand happen. And it, it's about moving forward, not looking back, man. And for as far as partnerships, now it's about different kind of partnerships. I know what to look for and I know how to, you know, in the beginning, I didn't even ask for what are you bringing to the table? It's like, all right, you're, equal, equal, and then we're 30, 30, 30. It's like, whoa, you know, every business person I talk to is like, um, it's not how you do it, right? You, you see what a person can contribute to the pot. You know what I mean? So it's a big lesson learned, but I just feel like God kind of took that away and, and brought this. And it's just weird. And people now are, are just crossing my path, like here, like us, like, this is amazing. Like, you know, I'm so honored to be on this podcast and to share this and because I really feel we're like-minded. And one thing about me, I'm very raw and very real and I'm not good at dancing around and this and that. I just, you know, and I feel this is just such a great platform. So that's the story behind For Life Wellness. And Derek Bowles, who was my sensei, um, 
you know, it's just honoring him. And I cannot wait when this video comes out that I have edited where he will speak on why he fought and how he wants people to fight. That's not me saying this. It's like, don't hear it from the horse's mouth. But what it did do is I know how good good quality CBD is because I literally seen it work with him. Okay? When he started taking the good stuff, because every two weeks he was getting blood work. So it was almost like awesome to kind of get, it's like testing and proof of concept. Well, his numbers start getting better. And his doctor was like, what are you doing? And he told him, I started eating cleaner. I started eating all greens, no meats, blah, blah, blah. But then when he started incorporating the CBD, we could see the difference in the numbers. So we knew the fighting the chemo was working. I think like this, well, if it can do this for stage four pancreatic, how about somebody that just has joint pain? Or stage one, stage two, stage three. So for me, it's like, no, this is, you know, like bigger than me. And I know it works. So I can put my name, you know, it's my brand and I will, the face of it because I, there's nothing to hide you know and it's third party tested so it's pure and I'll put mine against any brand and because I know it's good right so for me it's kind of like it's just the beginning man like and I'm excited you can tell I'm excited when I talk about it I'm excited about it but not about what it can do for me but I know what it can do for other people and my whole family's on it you know, I mean, the people that I care about the most are on this religiously, me included. So, so for me, it's like, but it's definitely about having a quality product because there's a lot of bootleg stuff out there, mind you. Like, you have to also be careful. You don't know if it's tested or the company's not very transparent. I always tell people, it's not about me. Just get educated in the game, right? And on my website, I have a learn page that, there's no, nothing gets sold to you on the learn page. Like by now, by this, not. I want people to learn and then read about it and then make an educated decision, which wherever you go, whatever company, whatever, you know, I, but I, I feel that if you get educated, just like other things, right? Knowledge is power. With this, it's the same thing. If people start reading on the benefits, what it can be, then you can make an educated decision. Maybe you want to put that Zico away and take some CBD for nighttime. You know what I mean? And that, because all these other over-the-counter stuff have all these other side effects, right? People will be real quick to pop a pill or something else, but then like, oh, is this CBD going to be hurt me in any way? And it's kind of like- <laughs> That's so, a good point. That's a good analogy. Yeah, we're so programmed to not question anything, you know, Western, but God forbid something could maybe benefit me without side effects. And now we, there's a gazillion questions. Are you sure it's good? Are you this? Will it hurt me with this? I'm like, dude, you're, you're taking Adderall. Like you're taking other things. You know, you're taking stuff to go to sleep, which messes with your neurological system. But there's, and so for me, it's about just education, just like throwing nuggets. Like, okay, you got the way you think about this. Uh, read this and then make a decision for yourself. If you still want to take all the other nighttime things that it's all good, but at least information is there for you so i think for me it's about you know educating and just spreading the word and not pushing my product so to speak but pushing what it does what it can do wow wow, wow. Derek, um i actually have some questions about your, your seat your product um because I've, I've been curious about cbd oil and C cbd products for years Okay. I have a CD, I have a CDL truck driver's license. So commercial driver's license. So I have, if I, you know, if my, if I had to take the urine test and it's dirty, I could lose my license. Right. With, with the CBD that you have, do you have a, a brand of it or a kind where I can get the effectiveness and the healing properties and the anti-inflammatory properties, all the school benefits that come with it, but it won't make me test positive with a urine specimen? Okay, my, my CBD is a full spectrum hemp. So the trace amount of THC is 0 0.03. It's very okay. low. It, it won't register. It won't this. But, you know, there's also ones that have zero. Like I have the capability to make a line where there's absolutely none, right? 
And I'm, a, I'm in the process of doing more research on your question because that's why I've been getting a lot. And I don't, if, if I had to give my opinion, I don't think it would read. But I would never say to you, it won't because that would not be, unless I have concrete evidence. And believe me, if I find that, it's going on my site. But there are, I can definitely get where there is absolutely zero. Now, okay. The, the, the topicals, which the cream I have, or the roll-on, right? That's not going to, that's not, you're not going to read on that. Because that's right. your surface, you know what I mean? But the tincture, the oil you put under your tongue, and it goes under your bloodstream. And I'm in the process of looking into that, you know? Okay. But there's definitely CBD that has none. And I have the capability to do that. And if I start getting more and more inquiries like that i don't care i'll i'll put i'll put that out also and make that available for sure absolutely for sure. but because the benefits that. are, are mm -hmm. tremendous like for me i don't sleep like i used to not sleep and sleep one out of three americans have sleep issues one out of three right and for whatever reason stress bills why husband whatever there's tons of reasons right so for me, I'm always, I have my hands in so many things, so I, I never slept. And what it does, it, it just turns off. It's like a little switch. It's not where you get loopy, oh my God, I took sleeping stuff. It's literally like we're already tired as can be. And it just turns a little switch off and you go in that third round of sleep. And since I've been doing it, I've just been so more productive. Because I'm up, I mean, if you see my post, I'm up at 5, 5.30 and I have this a routine that I post every morning, something motivational or something that jumps out at me or, you know, just to start the day. And I feel if it touches one person, I win, right? And what I just feel, why not start the morning with something positive, right? Or mm -hmm. so that I've been doing that for years, you know, but it used to be very tiring because I feel like I would let, people down if I don't do that in the morning and I'll be tired. Mm -hmm. But now, like I always beat my alarm. I oh I always said it, <laughs> but I always beat it because my 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 sleep um clock is so on point that once I take it, I know within 30, if we're gonna watch a movie at night, I'm not taking it. You know what I mean? Because I'm so tired and I'll doze off. But I know within 30 minutes, I know I'm I'm done. And I go to sleep and I wake up. So I think for sleep, because our body is meant to repair in our sleep. Problem is, you have to go into third REM sleep, mm -hmm. right? Because if you're constantly waking up, your body will not send out its army to repair. Mm -hmm. But when you get in that third REM sleep, your body will start repairing itself. And so will your brain, right? That's what a lot of people don't focus on. They always think about repairing the body, but the minds and the mindset is the most important thing because I can't pick up a pen without the mind, right? So if the mind is fatigued, then you're going to be shorter. You might forget things. You might, there's tons of things that can happen. But when you have a fresh, just like if you have a fresh mind and you fight, right? You want to have a clear mind before you go in the ring. You don't want to think about having little, you know, domestic and then go into the ring. You're not going to be there. Right. So the same thing is with this. It's just kind of just recharging your mind, your brain, because that helps everything else. So, you know, there's a lot of benefits. Yeah. Well, I've told Kendrick before that there's been time rare, rare times, but when I've gotten a 10, 11 ish hour sleep and then had the full sleep and then without waking up and then I've gone to like, and just so happened that coincided with me sparring uh, like a, a really, really tough, really large, we're talking six foot 10 uh, client, um, Tyson Fury-esque. Okay. And I would tell Kendrick, remember Kendrick? I'd be like, man, I got so much sleep. I feel like I'm on steroids or some type of enhancement. Like no one can touch me when I get all that sleep. I feel like 10 times stronger, faster. And like you said, the mind, Ronnie, that my mind is so much sharper. I feel like, yes. so yeah, sleep's, sleep's definitely. Yes, man. And if you have sleep issues, man, I'll, I'll send you some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, like, and just give it a shot. I give it a shot or whatever, because uh, the sleep to me is the game changer for me. 
because I'm so, I'm doing so many things. I'm up early. I'm training eight, 10 clients a day. Plus I'm running for life wellness. Plus I do life coaching. So I sometimes train people, come back to my office, become my office with serious issues. Not I want to get apps like I'm contemplating doing some things to me or something. So I have to be sure, right? Because when someone comes to me with serious things, I can't be like, yeah, you know, that's great. <laughs> right? Like I have to be on. That's true. That's so true though. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I have that's to be real. on. 100%. So sometimes when I come home, I'm like, ooh, right? Because every client you have is a personality and you're, you're paid to be on that hour. I can't say, you know what, Johnny, go ahead, just do these sets. I'm going to be over here because I'm fatigued, right? That's so, what I try to tell people, Ronnie. It's like four or five different personalities per day throughout the day. And it's just, um, you have to be good to be able to be yeah. great for them, give them your good. Like people don't keep training with uh, us for long year, periods of time, years and your years, because we don't make them feel good. We make them feel good and make them feel safe with our energy right but for us to be able to do that we need our sleep our life has to be in order and all those things so yeah it can it can really drain you and i'm not complaining but it's just part of the no business. no no i i feel like when people get put in a position to change lives that's a privilege right and it's it, not everyone is capable or even wants to do that right for us this is what we do i love giving back i love that's why I, Start a writer for life foundation. Like I, I'm all about giving back, right? But you're you're so right. It's like you have to almost, and every person in a not in a negative way, but suck some energy. So you almost have to recharge by the time the next client walks in. And they're not the same. One might need a pep talk, one might be feeling on top of the world, one might have sat in a car and didn't want to come in, right? One is a young adult that's having some trouble in high school. One is somebody in college that's thinking about, like, oh, it varies. It varies. Yeah, some are couples. And then I, you know, I have a 10 year old. I have a, uh, my son is 29. He's in the Navy. He's a Navy officer. But I have a 10 year old and my wife at home. So by the time I come home, I really had to get, get good at sitting in the car and being like, okay, when I touch that door, because my daughter, every time, she hears that door. Oh my God, daddy's home. Like, how can I walk in there? Like, so I really had to like step up my game and I'm being real. I had to man up. Like, I know I had a long, and I, it's, it, was, it was not always perfect, man. I, I really work on that and I'm getting better at that. But to be like, okay, when that door opens, if my daughter wants to do some just dance, I got to man the hell up. Even though I had a long day, I got to do it. And at times you're like, oh man, daddy's tired. And I was that. And then after a while, I started learning like, okay, she has no idea. She knows I work, but it's not her fault. And she wants to, let's say, you know, so I had to kind of step up my game to, to you know, and I always say like this, if I tell my clients, you always try to refine. I always try to become a better father. My perfect, you know, but there are ways I can always be better like anything else in life, you know? Be a better husband, or be a better trainer, or be a better life coach, or be a better businessman. Right? It's no, it's not negative. It's just I feel you should always. I think people have the problem when they don't take ownership if there are some deficiencies, and pretend it's not there. It never gets solved because then it becomes everybody else that's always at the, the fault. When in reality, a lot of times it's us. You know, and I think I, taking ownership for me is like I, I'm very honest. Like. You know, if I mess up, I'll let you know, like, you know, I almost lost my entire family because I got caught up in the bodybuilding game because my head got too big. I, and I'll say that because I can help people and not make that mistake. Like people are like, let's say that want to give up their marriage or like, ah, I'm over it. I can say, hey, there's no worse feeling in the world than the feeling of thinking you're about to lose everything, that you had everything over some nonsense. You know, so I, my thing is like, if I can help a person not make that jump and sometimes, hey, people just aren't meant to be together. But a lot of times people are not fighting. They're not fighting for it, right? There are little things that you can repair that before you know it, you can rebuild that relationship. So I didn't want to go off into a tangent, 
But no, it's okay. That's okay. It's just about that balance for me. It's like to to make sure I still have enough juice at home, right? Because we give, we help people, we change people's lives, right? You too. Like you're always giving back, giving back. But then it's sometimes we take ourselves for granted and we sometimes we get the short end of the stick and we wonder why we're beat down or why we're tired or why we're maybe short with the ones we love. Guilty as charged. You know, my wife, like she's very, she, we're very different because I'm very outgoing. She's very quiet. But she would tell me like, 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 babe, like, can we have some time? Or don't be short with my daughter, you know, if I'm tired. And sometimes that hurts to hear, but it's the truth. So I had to kind of like, okay, let me, maybe I'll work on it. You know what I'm saying? So, and I think taking that ownership, I think is huge, you know, and I use myself as an example, not like I know everything, but I, I'll do it. And like, yo, this sucks. Like, don't do this. Like I try to use my own experiences to help others get through theirs. Not like I know everything. It's just pretty much what I went through. I kind of try to be honest. So then it gets, a lot of times when you do that, people are willing to put their guard down and become a little more vulnerable. Like, oh, wow, you went through this. Okay, well, this is what we're going through. And now you have access, right? And to me, I feel like, hey, you gotta gain, I got to gain your trust before anything happens. So here you go. This is what, this is what I'm about. And then I, I, that's just my tactic to kind of, you know, get people to open up and allow me to help them. Ronnie, what, um, two questions for you. Question number one is about the CBD oil. Is it good for aiding to fight against hypertension? And also, do you have, can you give me some information? Cause I, I want to order some stuff for sure. Just on a, just on a principle of having this conversation with you, I don't, I don't know you, but I'm learning about you and brother, you, you, it's, it's heartfelt. It's heartfelt. You're genuine. Um, it's like, I just, just on a principle of having a conversation with you and just how passionate you are and just getting the feel of how seriously you take integrity and, and things in that sense. It just, I'm, I'm just on that principle. I'm, I'm interested in, I'm, I've been interested in CBD, but I'm more interested in it because of the fact that what I've learned from you in this interaction, you know, you, you, you're, I mean, in sales, you're selling yourself. So I, I, I could see you being massively successful just because of the, of how you are genuine and you present yourself, you know, you, you present yourself, then the product. I mean, it's, and that's what pe people are looking for real. So number oh, one, man. thank you. Thank you for being you. You are you. You said it's an honor and a privilege. It's a blessing and an honor and a privilege for us to have you on, man. It's, oh, man. I mean, for sure. I'll be messaging you, Ronnie, like in a day or two. Hey, what's up, man? Let's go hang out. What's up? What's I'm going down? down? Let's talk down, about trading, man. business. Oh, man, I'm down, <laughs> Teach man. Teach me something, man. It's like that I, movie, I, Dr. Strange. Teach me. <laughs> you know no, what I'm saying? Man, you know what, man? Like, it, I, it, 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 this is meant to be, right? Like, it's like, yeah. And I, those words like give me fuel, right? Because it warms my heart because I do this because of that. It's not, it's no, you can talk to me 365 days and you get the same story. You get the same story. There's nothing to make up. Like it's always the same thing. You know what I mean? And as far as for the CBD with hypertension, any, any ailment in the human body, any is inflammation. All problems are caused from inflammation, right. Right? right? So my thinking was always, well, if here's a substance that is the main thing is to fight inflammation. That's why on my learn page, I, there's a lot of great information. And what I did on my learn page, it's not stuff that I copy pasted from the internet. I hired a content writer to research whatever product I have to research on that and to have a write-up on it and to have the studies where it was, where it came from. So it's not he said, she said, it's the science, the actual studies, right? And when you start seeing that, what it, the possibilities of how it helps inflammation, right? I can never say as a business owner and make claims like it can do this, it can do that, it can do that because FDA, there's a lot of things. But I always say may, 
right? And May, 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 what's May? But if you read the information and you read what it can do for information, then if you have something in your body that hits inflammation, my personal opinion, it like it puts the force field around it, right? Because if it can bring inflammation down, you're going to have less inflammation. If you have less inflammation, whatever the inflammation costs, it's going to be less. And I got proof in the pudding with Derek on a severe level, right? But I also know with my joints and my elbow, when I put my cream or now I have a roll on, if you just roll on, it's double the strength of the cream. It works. Like I religiously use that. Like there's, I have it in my back. Like my neck is tight. I put a little bit because I'm always doing things. I'm always using my hands, right? And it's so, as far as for hypertension, I, I think there's a lot of things you can do to help hypertension, right? There's sure. a lot of Absolutely. things. Mm -hmm. Can this be something that can benefit your body? Absolutely. Like, absolutely, right? And I, I believe that wholeheartedly. Like, I will not, not take it, you know? Even if this company, I will not, not take it. Like, I will keep this company so I can keep my family supplied. If I just do it for that, right? That's why I continued this company to make sure I lost Derek, but I wanted to make sure that he has access to the best, even though this fell through. You know what I mean? So that was my whole thing to keep this company going. It wasn't to get a Bugatti or whatever. It was so I can really continue to help the ones I love. And as I build relationships and just to build awareness, you know, and like, I, again, man, I, I, Kendrick, I appreciate those words, man, because it's, it's the truth, dude. Like I could not, I could not, be more blown away by those words as you can tell because this is why this is why but this is why I do it whether it's my training whether it's for life wellness whether it's my foundation everything is about helping people for everything you know yeah. and if you ask my wife she's like nah, there he goes like that's what I do but I feel that this is what God gave me the skills to I have a few skills that he and I can I can help people. I, I, there's this joke about if like I I mentor a lot of kids. I speak at schools. I do all that. So when parents have a kid that they can't break or it's something they can't get to, right here. So I get kids that train with me. The parents hire me to train their kids because they know I don't just count reps. I'm gonna. I'm going to give them life skills. We're going to build a relationship. And the parents are very smart because they, I was, I'm that ally, that bridge between child and parent, you know? And I, and I, and I always tell parents, if I see something that I think can hurt your child, I will let you know, but you cannot let them know that you heard it from me because I will not break that trust, right? So my Kids know my kids that I coach. When I say I got your back, right? They know I got my back. I've been, I've been to school when one of my kids got bullied in high school. I didn't do anything, but just the presence and this and that, the parent didn't know what to do as I handle it because I understand the dynamics. And that's an honor for a parent to trust me mm -hmm. with their children. Like, I'm a parent. Like, I'm, shoot. Before you get to my daughter, there's going to be some DNA tests. And okay, like, but for, so for a parent to trust me with that, oh man, that's a privilege and a half, you know? So I really take pride in that. So yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I do, man. Ronnie, yeah. Ronnie, there's so, there's so many, there's so many things that you do uh, on a daily basis and that you achieve and you're involved in, um, it, it would, it would take hours to touch on all these great things. Um, you, you, your bodybuilding, weight training, personal training, yeah. um, traveling charity events. I see you traveling all the time on Instagram. Um, 
Uh, I'm being a little, little greedy since you're a life coach right now. I Go just, ahead, man. I, I want to ask man, a question. I'm here, I'm here to service y'all, yeah. man. Whatever <laughs> questions y'all got, yeah, no, I'm definitely. here, man. Honestly. I wanna, yeah, definitely. I want to ask a question. Um, one thing is, uh, you you bring up your wife uh, a lot. That's beautiful. Uh, how important? Two questions. How important is it? Or what? It, uh, tell us a little bit about her. If, whatever you want to share. How oh. important is a healthy relationship like that to you and the benefits it helped how it helps you it sounds like it helps you so much your relationship oh, with your wife like, and also oh. secondly how can Kendrick and I are we're on that fitness health journey in our own individual ways we're we're both striving we're accountable uh we talk to each other about it we give each other pep talks it's an amazing uh, uh friendship and dialogue Kendrick and I have on a regular basis about nutrition about fitness mm-hmm. is dope I love it we're both improving how but how can people and like us and everyday people get more to where you're at, like where you're in that zone where we look at you and you're healthy, you're strong, you have energy, you have a glow, you're organized. How, what are those things that you do every day or every week to get you to that point where you're so balanced? And, and obviously I'm sure you get your workouts in, you get your sleep in. How do we get to that sweet spot? Like, do you go to Krypton and recharge in them and they'll tell anybody or how, how do we get there, Ronnie? Uh, your, your wife, for life, 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 and then how we get to where you're at. Yeah, for life. That's it. Talk about it. <laughs> Free advertisement right here. Man. You're, you're um, amazing, brother. Um, I'll start with my wife. Holy moly. Did I get blessed. Like, we met, we, we met September 9th, 95. We got married October 3rd, 99. I know it like that. Like, you know, it's, we, that's how long we've been together. And She's been my biggest cheerleader, my biggest motivation. She, she's been my eyes because she has this thing that says that I trust people. It's just my nature, man. I just, uh, and some people take advantage of that, you know? But it's funny what she said about the previous company. She told me, babe, this is warm up. I don't know why, but I don't think this is it. Right. And I didn't get it. I'm like, nah, this is it. This is it. Right. You know, typical. But look, right, she was right. Right. So she she's been like my watcher. And when I was doing my bodybuilding, she prepped my meal. She was like my biggest support. Like she she's everything to me. Like, you know, and when I said earlier, like I almost blew it. Like, this is the insanity of this. Like. I have ever, like my son, you know, like she's been there through everything, right? And when I got into body, when I got really going in bodybuilding and things were really taking off and this and that, and, you know, you know, I, I almost blew it because lack of communication, right? I was thinking she wasn't really into me no more and yada, 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 yada. And I ran with that. And I woke the hell up and my mentor, who passed away, um, he pulled me in his office and he grabbed me and, you know, he's a very successful man. And he said, you know, Ronnie, you, because I was like, I'm out, this and that. And he goes, well, you can come live with me. He had a huge house. He could travel the world. I can be his right hand, whatever, whatever, and live the life in cars and boats and planes, right? He goes, we could do that. or you could fight for your wife back. And he goes, I know what I want you to do. And I'm telling you, you won't be happy doing what I just said. The only thing that'll make you happy is this. And whatever you need from me, I'll do whatever I can to help you, right? And so I work my way back in and I build that trust up and this and that. My wife is like, she's a superwoman. Like, see me and they think I'm this freaking you know powerhouse man and she is like that's my superpower and that's my kryptonite right like it's both you know and I like I couldn't do any of the things I do now without her because if she's not holding the fort down then I have to help hold the fort down so I can't do this right and she pretty much told me, baby, like, I got this. You go do you. And by me doing me doesn't mean Ronnie Camacho. No, me is us. Like, even if I say my company is our company, it's always, everything is ours. She is on 
and the company, she's, you know, she's the vice president. She's, she's, there is no, this is mine, right? And you talk about supportive. Like even when, before for life, when I had that with my previous um, partners, like, I'm going to be real. Like, I'm an aggressive person. And, like, there was a lot. Of, there was anger. There was pissed off. Because I, I started that other company, right? And it's like, I brought you guys on. And all of a sudden, this is your baby, right? It's crazy. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. And it's kind of like, and the mission at first was the same thing, like, for life. It was about Derek. Well, it went, so she kept being that ear and she, she saw how unhappy I was, right? And when we finally, when they bought me out, you know, and I was, I was anger. But then she goes, babe, that was never, that company went from what your vision was to something that wasn't you, nothing about it. Because God didn't, this was not the plan for you. You know, but she was that talker that kind of like recalibrated me and then let me go in a sense of go do this on your own. You know how to set a business up. You know everything. You were doing most of the thing for the other company. You don't need you don't need them. And, and look, from February and I launched Memorial Day, three months, I built this company, set it up products and I launched. Right. And she was the person that was my cheerleader and like, you know, giving me emojis during the day, like, and it's hard doing everything on your own, but that it's knowing that I have a rock like that behind me, that no matter what, she's a rider in every sense of the word, right? And so my wife, and she's half, uh, she's half Okinawan white, right? We, we met in Hawaii. We met at University of Hawaii. And... You know, as like love at first sight, when I first saw her, I was like, oh, I knew. And it, a funny story, Eric, when I was training and I was going, I just got out of it real bad, da, 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 da. And I wanted nothing to do with nobody, right? And he goes, okay, Ronnie, if you could name your ideal woman, what would it be, right? And I'm like, uh, five, three, Hapa, Hapa Haoli is like half white, half Asian, right? So Hapa Haoli. And I described this woman, right? Well, when I first saw her, it was, I wanted someone that's just genuinely nice and just glowing and always hot, whatever. Like, I just, you know, when you then the window loud, you just make things up. I just created this perfect woman in my eyes. Long story short, when I met her and then Derek came by the house, and he knocked on the door and she opened the door. And I was like, why is it? He looked like shocked. So when I went outside and talked to him, he goes, dude, like, this was what you described. Like, to the hair. Like, right? And he told me, he goes, wow. And I knew, right? So moving forward, like, she's been my biggest support, my like everything and you, and like no matter what in the goods but more in the like where you test relationships is in the bad in the rough water and everything's everything is good but when things are not good right and she's we're so opposite right we are so opposite but it works she might be quiet but she will tell me if i'm slipping right and you need that and sometimes it hurts to hear it, <laughs> but it, I know she would never do anything to hurt me on purpose. And if she now says, babe, watch out for this, I'm watching, right? I am like, okay, let me reevaluate something because she obviously saw something I didn't, right? So she is my teammate, like so for life and all the other things I'm in, I couldn't do without her. She supports me and in every capacity, whether it's printing the shirts, she printed my shirts. She does my, she prints my shirts for awesome. whether it's writer for life motivation for my training or whether it's this or whether it's the writer for life foundation, the shirt, she does that, right? So it's kind of like, we are like intertwined and 
letting people see this machine, it's a machine of two, right? It's a machine of two, but it has a community of a lot because of who we are. And I feel that, you know, even though when you're, when you have a big heart, it gets taken advantage of a lot of times. But sometimes I'm like, I'm just not going to be nice to anybody no more. I'm going to be a hey, hole. Uh, you say that when you're licking your wounds. But then if someone on the street needs help, guess what? Like, that's all out the window. And so my wife always tells me, she goes, babe, like, be you, right? You don't have to go and be this person you're not in the sense of, you know, me or whatever. No, just, I'm going to just, God will provide and put the right people in front. I mean, I feel like, you too, I feel like I just gained, you know, I just gained more into my community. And this is just like, this is freaking awesome, right? So to finish my wife, she is my rock. She's my everything. And, you know, like, I could not, I couldn't imagine not having her. You know what I'm saying? So my motivation is, is, a, is her and what I want to do and what I want to accomplish and, you know, to prove to her that when she gave me that second chance, that it wasn't a mistake, right? So I'm constantly trying to prove myself, even though we're good. Like there's, we've been happier than ever, but I, I'm still, you know, still trying to do the, do the best I can. So that's her. Like she's the, you know, she's everything. And you're asking about, as, oh, okay, fitness. Um, a lot of like for life wellness, I believe my wife always used to laugh that she always says, you, I don't believe in my age. Like I don't, age is just a number. And she goes, oh, you just think you're 21. I said, not 18. It needs to be the joke, right? Because I feel that if you start accepting your age, then you're going to accept the things associated with that age. True, true. Whether it's ailments, oh, now I need to feel like this, or now I need to buy white new balances, or now I need to wear my, my phone on my head. Not, right? Hey, no. Like, why do I have to change who I am? Because I got older. So for me, it was always like, like, how can I fight that? Not denying that I, you get older as far as years, but it doesn't mean that you got to act the part. So for me, it's always like a challenge. People are like, how old are you? I'm like, 50. You're like, huh? Right? And I, that to me is like, yes, okay. I'm on the right track in a sense that because I want to give people hope, like, you don't have to buy into this age bug. So as far as working out, I'm really busy. So my workouts now are usually if I have a gap with a client, right? So it's about 45 minutes, you know? 45 minutes to an hour. I try to get an hour in. Just It's therapeutic for me, right? Sure. Absolutely. But I think for it's balance, right? Yin yang. You got to have balance. So you got to figure out what works for you as far as eating, number one, right? And it's not about you having a pre-contest set up where you're getting ready for a show, whatever. You have to find something that you're willing to do for long. It's, it's, it's consistency. You have to do something that you're willing to do for duration, right? Because you always hear these, the, I don't like the word diets. I prefer meal plans, right? So you always have these meal plans of all this crazy stuff and people go on them and let's say they lose. It's awesome, but guess what? There's always the rebound. They're like, yeah, when I used to do this, boy, I dropped 25 pounds and then comes, but, right? But, you know, I gained it all back. But when I used to be your age, I'm like, how old do you think I am? And you know what I mean? Like, there's always a scapegoat, right? Because a lot of these so-called meal plans, or I call them diets for argument's sake, if you can't do them for duration, okay. they yeah. really don't serve you right. Because a lot of time, if you do a big dip, then you rebound and gain the weight back. That could mentally screw you up more and not losing the weight at all, right? Because it can very easy make you feel like a failure, right? So my thinking is, I always have the same five at a time, whether you want to lose, whether you want to gain, five at a time. 
you have to give yourself many victories, right? It's okay to have a goal of wanting to lose 30 pounds. But don't make that that then you have five at a time. Because if you get three little wins, that's 15 pounds. That's pretty big, right? Sure. I believe by giving yourself little victories is the key. So five at a time. So how do I get to that? Well, you have to be honest. And what am I eating, right? And a lot of people think, well, I'm not a dietitian. Let me tell you this right now. You, a lot of people know when they eat what they're supposed to be eating. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you shouldn't have this. That's an indicator that you probably, yeah. You probably I'll tell you right now that chicken or pork tonkatsu soup I be eating sometimes, I know it's not good for me, brother. <laughs> but man, but it's yummy, so right? Good though. <laughs> right? So I always say, take ownership of what you're doing or not doing. Don't beat yourself up. If you're not willing to maybe eat better, then don't beat yourself up. Oh, man, I should eat better. It's negative, right? Okay, I don't feel like eating better right now. Take ownership of that. And you maybe have more body fat than you want to have, but just take ownership because you haven't made it a point to make it a priority yet in your life. That's it. Then when it becomes like, I'm done. Like people, you get to that where like, okay, I need to make a change. Well, then you change your priorities. So if your food, let's say intake used to be maybe number five, you move it up to two maybe, right? Where, cause it's, that's the thing that can get it going. So now you think, okay, well, what can I eat? Well, my personal opinion is balanced meals. Whatever, cause you have keto, you have all kinds of things, right? And whatever works for you, great. I always mm -hmm. say, whatever you can stick to, right? Yeah. If you hear, oh man, keto's the best, I'll be like, can you stick to it? Oh, uh, well, you know, it's kind of hard. Da, da, da. Then you might as well, why are we talking about it? Right? Because I think a lot of times people like hearing themselves talk and convince sure. themselves that they're doing the right thing when in reality they're just making stuff up. Right? So, my personal opinion is you have to have balanced meals and you know, okay, I can't eat much fried stuff. Right? That's just, everyone knows that. Maybe I need to cut down my sodas. A lot of people don't drink enough water, right? And I think you slowly wean yourself onto a better meal plan than the cold turkey and say, I'm going to eat this, 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 this. All right, come eight o'clock, your, your probably stomach's going to do all kind of crazy thing and that cover is going to be very enticing and you're going to go down there and say, you know what, tomorrow. <laughs> right <laughs> tomorrow but if you say you know what you you have to take inventory of what you're eating right and be real with it and look at it like okay how good is this that this and just start putting some things out right and just i think a good thing is eating every three hours but it doesn't mean you have to eat big old meals every three hours but i feel you need to consume something because then you speed up your metabolism, right? And it's easy to remember three. So if you start at seven, end at seven, right? Seven, 10, one, four, seven. But what if I start at eight? Okay, then you start, then you finish at eight, right? It's still three hours, but in the beginning, it's, it's, it can be your template, something to start, right? Okay, I'll have my first meal at seven, I have my last meal at seven, that's a start. So I got to eat at 7, 10, 1, 4, 7. Well, what do I eat? Oh, I can't eat five meals. Oh, my God. Uh, there's all these stories. Why? You don't have to. Have you find yourself a breakfast that you can eat every morning. Start with shakes. Get yourself a protein shake that you can have at 10. Then have yourself lunch at 1. Then have yourself a protein shake at 4. And then you have your dinner at 7. So now you're eating five meals but really only three you're drinking two but you're consuming five so what you do is you get your body into the habit of eating more frequently so then after a while what's going to happen is your metabolism is going to speed up and you're going to get more hungry so then what you do you substitute maybe one of those shakes for let's say another meal or maybe half a meal and half a shake right so then you kind of are constructing your own meal plan, right? So 
You're like, well, what do I eat? Protein, carbs. Well, I feel for a general, you eat your carbs in the beginning of the day and eat less to, towards the end, right? Just think of it that way. That's a good tip. That's a good tip. Wow. Yeah. So in the morning, you need energy for the day. If at night, unless you work, I was, I do a disclaimer. If you have a night job that's very taxing, then you have to adjust your eating times, of course. But for most people, they are not very active towards the end of the day. So what you can do is you can lower your carbs as the day goes. So let's say you seven, you have, let's say, I just say oatmeal, some egg whites, whatever you have at breakfast. Then you have your protein shake. And at lunch, maybe you have some chicken breast with maybe some rice or sweet potatoes or whatever. Then you have your shake for that evening meal. You can have a protein and let's say a nice big salad, but no carb. Because the carbs store at night, right? For the average person. What you'll notice, if you start cutting that last meal, the carbs out, you're going to see some change in your body. Mm, I'm starting tonight, couple, Ronnie. I'm starting tonight. That's there you really go. Good tip. I didn't you even know? think of that. And because that way you are making a small chunk at it, right? Now you're giving yourself a victory already. Right? Right? Because you're like, oh, I'm not eating my last meal carbs. That's a win. Right? Or if I get hungry at night, bring more water. Right? Or have a bigger salad. Because salad, roughage fills you up. So if you have more roughage at night with your protein meal and then drink water, which you need to drink anyway, you're going to fill up. Kendrick, right? no more carbs for us at night, brother. No, no more. what? No, I was telling Kendrick, no more carbs for us. At night, brother, no yeah, more. And you know what? In the you, morning or afternoon, but not at night. You know, you 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 play with it. You you check it out, and you, it's all trial, right? Just tell people it's about learning your body. This is the key: learning your body, because all three of us are different. So the key is is trying to figure out what, let's say, Xavier's body likes, Hendrick likes, Bonnie's likes, right? You're gonna find out. Okay, well. I feel pretty good eating oatmeal, but I maybe don't feel as good eating grits in the morning or a bagel or whatever, right? So you find your go-to carb that you feel good about that you feel energy from, right? And you do that with all your other food. Like at night, if I want to have some fish with some vegetables, that's great. Well, some people maybe want to have chicken, right? Some people want to have red meat. But I always tell people, okay, it's not about all anti-red meat. And look, it's about what, where you're at with your fitness. If you have high cholesterol or things like that, you have to watch your protein soup. It just is what it is. It's not about good or bad. It's just you probably shouldn't have much red meat, period, right? But there are people, let's say, that swear by it. So I always say, look, whatever you can do for duration, but if you're limiting your carbs and you're eating mostly cleaner foods, your body will respond accordingly. So I would say, you know, carbs in the morning and taper as God and night, every three hours, get your water in. That's probably one of the things that people are like, eating this, I'm eating this, and I tell them, okay, what'd you drink today? Well, I had a diet Pepsi, I had two coffees, and, you know, I had a water. And they're like, well, and I say, well, how much water? Well, you know, one and a half of these. <laughs> like, that's great for a toddler and would probably get some more water than that, right? But for an adult, you got to drink that water because you got to think about this. Majority, what is it, 60, 65% of your muscle is water, right? So I always tell people, if you have a plant and you have the best plant food in there, I'm not an arborist or whatever, but plant food or miracle, whatever you put in there, but you don't water it, what's going to happen to the plant? So if you don't feed your muscles water, if your muscles are not in the right state, they can't repair. And a crucial part of that is water. And that's the thing people think about least. Like, oh, what supplements do I take? How much water are you drinking? Oh, well, I drink it. They always say, I drink. Well, yeah, I drink too, but how much are you drinking? Because when you start keeping track of how much, they really see how little, mm -hmm. right? So you want to make it a point to have something where you can gauge how much water. But it's good for your body. It's good for, for um, 
refreshing your body, your skin. There's so many benefits of water. And drinking enough water will also help you shed body fat. Sure. It really will, right? So now you have, okay, I'm eating every three hours. I'm not eating my carbs late at night. I'm watching what, let's say, my protein source is that. I'm not going to have that much fried. I'm going to have more lean proteins. If I have carbohydrates, I'm going to have good carbohydrates. What, what are good carbohydrates? Well, oatmeal, sweet potato, rice, potato, red roast potato, like good complex carbohydrates, not crackers, not chips, which are tasty, but they're not the right carbohydrate that we want. Rolls, bagels, you know. Well, bagels aren't bad. I have whole wheat bagels. Well, okay, I'm just saying. Like, you know what I mean? So people will always try to massage it so they can have what they want, but maybe not have what they should. Sure. Right? So sure. it's all about being real. Every three hours, tapering your carbs, and then just see, give it a, a week or two and see how you feel on it and see how your body responds. And you know what? Take a picture of yourself, front view, side view, bad view for yourself, right? And weigh yourself. Don't weigh yourself every day because your water intake, you're going to lose your mind. Like, oh my God, I lost a pound or I gained a pound. Stop. Every month. Weigh yourself once a month. But what you can do is pictures and you start eating different and you start noticing, oh, maybe my stomach came in a little bit or you know what I'm saying? So it's a great indicator to see what you're doing. Working, if it's not working, right? So these are like little tips and kind of things to kind of get you to your day. And you know, if you're working out, make sure you eat afterwards and replenish your body. If you're working out, drink your water. Because if you're sweating, especially if you're doing something very active, keep that water in. And now in the summer, drink even more because we're, we're getting rid of it, right? Because it's so hot. So you really want to be proactive if you're drinking, eating every three hours, watching what you take in. And hey, you can always hit me up. I mean, you can always say, hey, Ron, you know, I had a roadblock. What do you, what do I do? Man, I'm getting tired of eating chicken. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Like you guys have access to me. You can uh, send me a message or whatever. It's all good. Like it'll Thank never you, be a bother, bro. It will yeah. never, ever be a bother. If Thank I don't respond right away, it's if I'm with a client, but I will say, all right, I'll hit you up. But I, I, I would not say it if I didn't mean it. Like, I'm here I'm here for you as well. If there's something, because it's hard to take all this in and be like, what do you say about um, proteins? <laughs> Let me go back, right? So I just I just want to throw that out there that I will, Thank you know, you. I'm here for you if, if you have any questions. But I think this is a good, would be a good step. Right, it could be a good way to kind of guess, you know, or definitely get you to a certain benchmark, and you'll be surprised what you can do in a few weeks when you structure your eating because your metabolism will start speeding up, and you'll start getting rid of stuff that maybe was not supposed to be there, or you might by eating cleaner, you'll maybe drop some water that you're not that you're holding, so your body will refine and you'll feel better. That's and awesome. then mentally, you're like, wow, I'm taking action on something that I said I was going to do. How empowering is that, right? Because that will show you some success for the next step. Oh, wow, this kind of work. Well, maybe if I eat a little cleaner, I wonder what I can do. Well, maybe I should train a little more. Or maybe incorporate strength training a little more. What? Well, the sky's the limit, right? But oh, I yeah. feel to get the ball rolling is key. Thank you, Ronnie. Absolutely. This has been so good right ken this oh, is man. the best the best man thank oh, you it's oh, the man. best I, I, i'm getting so much out of this uh ken you, any parting words for ronnie we reached the crescendo um anything you want to add my brother ken well, i was just gonna say you wouldn't sell something you don't believe in that's oh. what i get from you and that just, I mean, so when you talk about your friendship, people you vouch for, places that you patronize, that that's that's a statement that I couldn't grab a hold of when I was speaking earlier. What I was going to ask was, do you have words of wisdom that you would like to share with us and the people that view this podcast and also give us that information so that I can get some CBD from it, please? Um, I don't, I don't, words of wisdom, wow. Um, just be a good person. Right, like I'm at, 
I believe in giving back, right? Like my foundation, Writer for Life Foundation is, my saying is, if we all do a little, we can accomplish a lot. That's my saying for my foundation, right? And you can check out my foundation, uh, writerforlife.org. And it shows you kind of what, where my heart string is also, right? And that's something that I'm working on and definitely want to do some things is what I want to do. I want to start something which is called Writers for Seniors, right? Okay. And real quick, it's something where I've been thinking about because you always hear about senior abuse, right? You always hear about it. You know it goes on. But how do you nip it in the butt? Because if you go into the place, they're going to stonewall you, right? So my thing is like, well, everybody likes to eat, right? So what if I go in and I talk to the administration? I say, you know what? Um, I would like to cater food not just your patrons, but also staff. I know you guys are overworked and never appreciated, you know, yada, yada, yada to get me in, right? And the last two years with COVID, like, I'm sure it's pretty lonely for elderly and lonely, like they've been shut out. And I feel that they're the forgotten, which is insane because they have all the information, right? So what I want to do is I want to go in there and get, and just cater something and that go on with my people, whoever wants to go and build relationships. But here's the thing. If Barbara is getting abused by somebody, a lot of times individuals that people don't go to visit, easy targets. And if Barbara got dropped off and no one ever comes see her, she's an easy target. Right. But if Barbara starts building relationships, because right, I'll do this every eight weeks, not that it's once a year, oh, feel good, no. I want this to be something that Barbara starts getting these visitors of all walks in life. And I would love to have a bunch of fighters, that people that are just like, that you wouldn't expect will go in there and just sit and talk and eat and whatever. If they want to play bingo, if they want to dance, if they want to just talk. But I want to build those relationships because I feel like this. If there's a predator that's doing this nonsense, and they see their, their relationships being built, it's going to stop, right? Because Barbara, all Barbara has to say is that this is happening. Well, guess what? We're all on the outside. And the predator doesn't live in the facility, right? So predators only go after the weak. Once Barbara has an army like this of riders, yeah, Barbara ain't going to get messed with. And Barbara's of the and so that's like my little vision like i really because people always say i'm about solutions like okay i know this is a problem but how can we make a solution i think this way it's something that people can really get a board on regardless of what side you're on and i believe especially fighters right who we we don't like when people pick on the weak right so if we go in there with a crew and just love on people, I have a feeling this is something that can really age us and grow fast. Absolutely. And how big would that be for the people that are helping? But man, what about the patrons? And just think about this. Let's say Barbara has fun, because not everybody drops their elderly off. They maybe got, they, they work and they got this. They maybe can't show up on the time because you're doing the right thing. Not that they're bad parents or bad sons and daughters. But what if, let's say I say if it's if Barbara's my mom and I hear there's an organization that comes in and sits and talks and laughs and whatever, how am I gonna feel, right? So it's a win-win. And for the administration, if you have happier patient, patients, you can have less work. Because if the, they're pissed off, they're going to make things hard on you. But if they're looking forward to something, so you figure, I think, all checks. Right. It's really yeah. not going to, sorry, I went off on it. But okay. it's just, it just, I just want, this is kind of something that's one of my big things too is giving back. So back to words of wisdom is be a good person and try to make a difference. And, you know, never think that you got to figure it out. And man, take ownership if you do something wrong, right? Or if you do someone wrong, 
right? Take ownership of it and just, you know, I don't know, love your kids. I mean, I didn't get to speak about my kids as like, you know, which are huge motivation for me, right? Because my son is a naval officer in San Diego, right? Congratulations on that, by the way. I didn't say it earlier. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, Congratulations man. Congratulations on that, by the way. That's so dope. Thank you. You know, and he's been my motivation growing up. He's been with me through the bodybuilding. He's been, you know, it's awesome. I have a grand, I'm a grandfather. I have a Maddox, my grandson, who's almost three. So he calls me G-pop, right? So I'm G-pop, my grandpa. That's the age thing. I don't believe in the old stuff, right? So I want to be called G-pop, right? And I have my 10-year-old daughter who's like, for the longest time, she also goes writer for life. Like, she is like my my biggest supporter, like also, and she's like, she wants to go do me. Every Friday I do an outreach that she wants to go with me on. And she's really a giving person and she motivates me. So, you know, like Ronnie Camacho is just, I'm in the front, but man, what my, my team, which are my kids and my wife and my close friends and, you know, my, uh, my extended family, you know, like that's huge. And JP, I mean, JP, you know, that's my boy, man. And, you know, and he, I mean, his story, right? We'll get into that another time. That's a, that was, that's, man, that I would was, love, or like, amazing. just like that's his, what he overcame. And I know me and him are going to collaborate with the fight, the boxing gym, and something like, well, I really feel this. Come here. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. And like, Riders for seniors or something like that, man. Oh, bear. yeah, I want to, I want to, I really feel, I know, I, I, you can tell, man, I'm freaking excited because I really feel that there's something here that is going to just, I hasn't even formed yet, but I think it's something that can really, really change lives also, man. I don't know. I feel it. Really interested in hearing about that. Instagram, oh, yeah. Facebook, uh, website, foundation, anything you um, want to share. Um, Ronnie Camacho is my name, obviously, Facebook, Ronnie Camacho Sr., because I have a junior. On um, Instagram is Writer for Life Motivation. So Writer for Life, R-O-I-D-R, the number four life, motivation. The guy, yeah. I know I have my four life shirt on, but like Writer for Life Motivation is my oh, nice. brand too. Oh, that's sick. I like that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. So that's Writer my for life. brand too. Motivation. And um, that's my IG, okay. um, Writer for Life Motivation. Uh, my IG for Life Wellness is for my brand. Um, Facebook for, for Life Wellness. www.forlifewellness.com is where you can not just order product, but where you can learn about it. Like, I really, I want to be known as like a company that wants to educate and not just sell you something. Or tell you buy my stuff like i don't want to force you to buy my stuff if you feel that i am in the running of a company that's reputable that you feel in your heart that you are that you feel good about then absolutely i stand behind my products they're third party tested you know i have i have two topicals i have a roll-on i have a cream i have a sleep gummy which is absolutely amazing i have a cbg gummy which is a focus gummy I have a tincture, which is 2,000 strength. I have a 12,000 strength tincture, which is very high potency, which is something that Derek used and people that are really, let's say going to chemo, are really need a high concentration of CBD. That's the one. And I also have capsules. So I have hemp capsules. So if people don't want to take a tincture or they don't want to take gummies, they can just take cap. I, I try to cover everything. And next week, I'm coming out with um, bug treats because... You know, a lot of dogs, you know, they, and I've done research on this and I'm going to have a write up on it that with their joints and with anxiety or with fireworks or with you leaving them and they're tearing your house up, you know, there's things that they can benefit from the CBD dog trees. So I'm coming out with them as well. And they can be all found on my website, www.forlifewellness.com. And, awesome. you know, reach out to me. People can leave me a message. And like I said, I'm the brand. So, I'm not going anywhere. And if you buy something from me and, and you feel it doesn't work for you or you're not happy with it, it, there's no questions asked. Just let us know. You get your money back. And I stand behind my products. And, um, you know, and I, you guys send me, you know, go to my website, 
and let me know what what what, what which one you're interested in or whatever if you want me to send it. and I want to do this for you guys you know just send me your address your contact info so I can um send you guys both some some products and you can just thank you Ronnie check thank them you, out Ronnie. like seriously wow. that'll be my gift you know honestly you. honestly because oh, I appreciate I appreciate you opening this up for me and being able to share what I do and you know I you know there's ever another one man I'm down like I'm I'm always gay 100% man which is and just the beginning probably I want to say thank you I want to say thank you to the kind words you guys gave me because believe it or not that's that fuels me and I appreciate it and I don't take that lightly I do not take it lightly because that's if I have that effect then I'm doing it right then I'm doing it right and I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and I am so appreciative and like if there's a way I can be of service or of help or whatever you just reach out to me and I'm I'm all game and I know we'll be friends you know this is the beginning of something really cool but I truly appreciate this opportunity and Kendrick freaking thank you for the kind words Xavier you too man like I Ah, I love absolutely. this, man. I absolutely love this, man. You know? Thank you, Ronnie. Hundred percent, man. Hundred percent, man. Thank so, you for today, and thank you okay. for your time, and you have a blessed, wonderful day, Kendrick. Thank yes. you, sir. Always, always. God bless Take you care, guys. Brother. God bless you, brother. Thank you again. And thank you, baby. This You're is for my wife because she's my. We do it, right. Give it up. You know what I'm saying? That's right. So, and my daughter and my son, and it's on. We're moving. Right. Twenty-two is my year. <laughs>